Miljan Radić je čilanski arhitekt, studirao je na Katolika University, jedna od najprestižnijih škola u Čileju. Za Čile je vrlo zanimljivo da ima 7 miliona stanovnika i 27 arhitektonskih škola. I te škole se međutomno takmiče u smislu proizvodnje arhitekata za nešto što se zadnjih pa već 20 godina prepoznaje u svjetskim okvirima, a gotovo možemo zvati fenomen nacionalne arhitekture u Čileu. U Čileu, kad se vozite po ringu Santiago, vidjet ćete da je čak i Ikea box dizajniran. Da je sve dizajnirano. Da taj dizajn, pogotovo individualnih zgrada, objekata, u tom prekrasnom anskom i pacifičkom pejsažu ima značenje mjesto i vrijednost u kulturi jedne zemlje. U toj proizvodnji objekti rad Smiljana Radića zauzimaju posebno mjesto. Ne samo u odnosu na mišljenje prostora i zgradnju prostora, nego ja bih rekao prije svega na jedan fundamentalno intelektualan i kulturni projekt koji se može iščitati iz rada Smiljana Radića. Čitanje Radićevog projekta nije, ja mislim, ni na koji način jednostavno. Zato jer se radi o jednom interkulturalnom problemu. A pogotovo za nas, ako se hoćemo reći, pripadnike zapadne Evrope. A to je fundamentalno razumijevanje ili nerazumijevanje drugog kontinenta, druge kulture. Ja sam imao neku možda sreću malo u životu da radim na svim kontinentima i pokušavam razumijeti sve kulture, pa sam onda i tako znao da je imao mama rođena u Čileu i mislim da je upravo studija Radića, ako tako možemo reći, meni osobno jako pomogla za razumijevanje te kulture. Ali onda je bilo isto tako intrigrantno svima nama znati, a kako radi Radić, kako Smiljan, koji su njegovi uzori, na što on gleda, što čita. I u sjajnom intervju sa Hoste Cassitijom, mojim prijateljom iz Kolumbija, University of Harvard i Iberoamerikana Mexico City, otkrivamo slojeve kulturnog uticaja na rad Radića koji su jako globalni. Leverenc, Skarpa, Sloterdijk, Agamben. Znači, proizvodnja arhitekture na tom nivou, ako ga možemo zvat, najvišem možda mogućem konceptualnom, intelektualnom nivou, nije vjerovatno moguća bez razumijevanja suvremene filozofije, bez razumijevanja povijesti, i možda fundamentalno za Radića brez razumijevanja čileanskog landscape-a i veze između predkolumbijanske kulture i tog landscape-a. I kad Radić gradi restoran, što je jedna, ja vam reći, efemerna u biti program, onda on u biti skida sa anda menhire ili dijelove i oni postaju nosači drvene konstrukcije, ali isto tako i nosači značenja. Značenje koje onda gradi jednu osebujnu, specifičnu, ne nacionalnu, nego istinsku arhitekturu. Takva arhitektura se rijetko stvarno viđa i neke usporedbe radića sa ostalim arhitekturama ili arhitektonskim produkcijama u svijetu, a ja ih nejako opet srećom poznam gotovo sve, su vrlo teške ili gotovo nemoguće. I u tome je specifičnost Smiljanove produkcije. Serpentine Gallery 
je, ajmo reći, iznenadio sve nakon, you know, uh, nakon uh, Sejime i svih ostalih koji su tamo radili svoje, svoje instalacije, Smiljan je postavio nešto o čemu još uvijek vjerojatno mislimo. Fantastična izložba je jučer otvorena u kući arhitekture. Svi ste vjerojatno tamo bili koji niste. Pogledajte te makete. Pogledajte prvu maketu za mestizo restoran koja ima samo tri stupa i u biti veliki balon koji ta tri stupa nose. Neko koji je u stanju transformira tu maketu konceptualnu u landscape tog restorana, stvaranje javnog prostora u parku u Santiago je veliki majstor arhitekture. Za vas tonight završno predavanje Smiljan Radić u Lisinskom. Work, work, yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, thanks for coming. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. I don't know if the, if it is a pleasure to be in front of too much people, but we're gonna do what we we know how to do it. Um, the, the first, the first thing. Though we start bad. Okay. Yeah. The first thing that I have to do it is if he, if you don't understand something, it's not problem of the of the translation. It's a problem of my bad English and um, and my confusing ideas. I think the architect is really confusing for me, more or less. And then I could. I could try to understand this lecture like an exercise to explain something that is really not really easy for me to do or to do it um, because you must put in in a linear way something that is not in a linear way you know you in a line you you have to put in a line something that is coming from any place anywhere um, and and that is really difficult and then my lecture is about an history about the project more than the projects the the projects could you could you could have in a magazine and uh, web and anywhere any place um, um my, the first thing thing that i have to say is um is i always prefer to talk about construction about buildings more than architecture in my case because architect sounds really big word you know it's something expansive sometimes could be everything sometimes could be nothing and it's not really physical construction means something specific and it, you know, for that it's really it's really um, permit you to put in contact with other discipline with a really easy way easy way and that is really important if you think in my things like a construction could be more easy to understand what i try to do in this lecture um, this is the, the first thing. So, um, this, the, se the, 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 second, the second thing is um, um, I would like to, to, to explain some ideas of these, of these constructions. Um, um, the last time I have been here was um, in 2000, 2009, and I will present you some projects from 2010 in advance. And then we have five years of, of commonplace between us. And um, maybe if you invite me in five years, we, we could have a rinse, you know, later. And then uh, and we could do it again. But five years is not too much for build. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not for building, for construction. It's not too much time, you know. Um, but it's, 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 it's really important that the things that you are going to see, it's it was projecting by four or, or between four or seven person maximum in these five years. My office is that, is, is, is in that 
uh, uh, size, you know, no more than this, no less than this, because I could not manage m too much people. It's, it's one of my, my problem, I think. So, um, um, this is the, 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 the second idea. The, the, the other idea that I, I would like to talk about bestiary, about the, the name of this lecture. Um, I, I said that the bestiary um, where the, uh, beautiful, there are beautiful books which is coming from the 15th cycle to in advance. Um, um, and this bestiary produced a real, real beautiful, fantastic animals. Uh, really fantastic animals, and and but you, the, the author, don't have to be a creator of, of new forms or shapes of animal. They just put together some elements or some some pieces of other animals, and they they have a new fauna uh, around them. They could create something without create elements, um, and and. Um, uh, this is, uh, you have here a, a, a griffon, it's a, a, it's a middle eagle, middle, middle lion, you know, something that you put together and you have a new symbol. That is so easy, you could do it. I mean, it's so funny, it's a pleasure, and you could, you could create something that is it's new, but it's not new. Um, that is really important for me because from the beginning of my work, um, I feel I'm not a creator of shapes, you know, I, or creator of forms. That is really difficult. I think few architects of the world could say they invent something, you know, they, they, they just push, push away the, the, the architecture or the, 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 the building. I could just say five or six for me, but it's, it's so difficult. And then if you, if you find you are in not that way, you could have your, Real, really clear your limits, and then in that limit you you have to play, and 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 that is it's a, it's a way to play. Um, it's a, to put together some reference elements that you could get it from any place, anywhere, because you feel free, freedom. I feel freedom because my country don't have too much history about the architect, you know, and and then if I don't have, I could get it from anywhere because it's free, it's a, it's a free world, you know. And then uh, that is the other really important things to, to understand what I do. Um, then could be me, could be not most, not, not, not really serious, but it's, it's in that way, I could not say in, an, in another way. Um, um, The, 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 the exhibition on Ori's house, it's, uh, for me, it's um, part of this, uh, how do you say, it's part of this family of vestry, you know, my own fauna, my own animals, you know, all together you could find in all these pieces and models, you could find uh, a family. And this lecture is to explain to you what, what, I, what kind of relation I saw between these different uh, animals, you know, these different uh, uh, constructions, buildings, you know. And it's my, it's my work to explain to you, or to try to explain to you the different relation in a scale, in materiality, uh, how they, they, they are in relation, they push, one push together, and, and what is the relation between for example, uh, when you change a scale and when you use a project literally in, a, in another. And, uh, and that is really important because you at the end, I mean, I'm working for 30 years or, yeah, no, 25 years. And, uh, and uh, at, at, at right now I feel I have a family, you know, and that is really important to feel you have a background on your stage and, and this background be a continuous, a fluid, a fluid of, uh, of works that you could, it's uh, like a choreography, you know? The image have, um, have in, the image always have a, a, a phantasma, something, a ghost, which is on back, and, and, a, and a future. It's part of a, a, a choreography. And then this is, the, if you go to the, to the, to the le after the lecture to the exhibition, you could find some relation in, in, the, in this object that appear sometimes really, really separated, really divides between them. But, but it, they are not. They are really, for me, they are really close. Oh, and this is one of the, of the last pieces that, that we did, what we did with, with Alejandro Luer. I mean, I didn't do anything because my, I said yesterday my hands are really stupid to do the, the, real, the real models, but 
Alejandro did for me this 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 this, this last pieces and and this piece is we call um, Tower of Light bulb, Bulbs. It's really stupid name, but it's a description, but it's it. <laughs> and we, for this model, we, we are not asking something. It's just to do something. It, that is different. We are not proposing something. It, we are just doing, you know, just didn't. And, and this, you could find a mortar that I, some, some friend of mine gave me for uh, my birthday one year and a half before, two bulbs of light and a violin, Chinese, really cheap, and we, that we destroyed to, to have these pieces hanging from this. And this, for me, it's an homage uh, for Cedric Price, the big architect, England architect. Um, but on this moment, this, this, this piece is just an image. There is no shape, no function, and no drama. I mean, there is a, just a game, a, a really, Pleasure game. Then, in the same in the same way, you have in in your in your in front of Ori's house, this this bus stop um, was really strange for me to find the bus stop in front of uh, of Ori's house on the on the on weathering. You know, normally I I I I, I just see this bus stop in the Bregenz Museum by by Sumter was really. Incredible to have something on Sumter Museum the first time that it was exposed, and, um, um, and this uh, was um, an, um, a really strange commission. You know, get my note about these kind of things. It, it was a seven architects just projecting seven seven bus stop for a small village in 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 in, in Austria. It's really strange, and it's it's a. But here you have. Um, a ceiling, you could see on the isometrica, a ceiling, a birdhouse, um, popular chairs, and, uh, and, and that's it, and a glass box, you know? But what's happened? I, I visit just the, 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 the village um, just for two days, and I'm really afraid always to have the, the white paper in front of me, and then I have to always, when I go to some places that I don't know the culture, I have to say, okay, let's go to get something from this, to have something to, to, to recover in my mind and to, to do something, because I, if I don't have reference, or if I don't have elements, I, do, I could not do it. And it was really impressive for me to come to this stove room, they call like this, it's, there's, there's a domestic space, the domestic space, uh, and, and uh, we, we I, I think we visit three or four of these. They are really small, higher, and uh, and these have this decoration, more or less equal in, in 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 all of these places. But the more impressive for me at that time in 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 this place that in pri that you have public space and private space in this kind in this village, and you don't have limits. You really don't have limits. You, it's a fluid space, and you don't know. And in, in the social way to understand, in in my country, that is really strange. You, you don't have, uh, you have public and private, but never a, a real connection. You have fence wall. You have um, uh, do not disturb, etc. You have sign signal. Many things that could not permit you to have a. A natural relation between them, and that is, that is what's really important for me to understand what what I want to express in that mo at that moment. And uh, and then at that moment, I say, okay, this is a beautiful space, domestic space in the interior, and and then I would I will explicit this relation that it, for me was a surprise, and I put together this domestic space in a, in a in a public space, in the middle of a cows of birds of ecological and really beautiful landscape. And then I take a piece of this domestic space with the hire, with the decoration. I would change the materiality because it's a public space. And we put in, in the middle of the landscape, you know, in the, and just like a box, like a mirror, like a refuge. Um, and then when you see, when you see the, 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 the object, you see a birdhouse. It's a, it's a sign of uh, something ecological. I don't know if a bird is is using that, but I hope sometimes they will, will be, you know? But it's a sign of an ecological way to think the things because and this bird house exists in all around, in, in every house have this, uh, has, has this bird house in his facade. And it's really beautiful to hope 
the, the birds is coming there. Um, you have the ceiling of the interior ceiling, but right now on the exterior, and you have these this chairs, you know, and the chairs are popular chairs, it's not benches like you could, you could find on the bus stop, it's just, it's, it's the, 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 um, the chairs that you could, f could find in a domestic space, and that is really beautiful because, because it's something domestic, but because this will be used just for maybe five families, you know, it's, a, it's something, it's an extension of a, of a house, more than a bus stop. And I understand that, this in that way. And for us, it was really important the, 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 the different climate, and we present to, to, to the commission, we present these two, two ideas, in, on summer and on winter. On winter, we want to have a a cupola, a, a, a cupola on the top, and then we made some uh, some some boards of the of, of the of the roof special to to keep them. And then the reality for me, it's better than the images. I think it's really beautiful object, and I'm really I'm really happy because it's really calm and it's, it's not it's not aggressive, and you are there and you could feel really good. Okay, and on winter up here, this kind of of, of, you know, this kind of, uh, of, um, of images that is really beautiful. Oh, maybe the images are scattered. All the images are scattered. Maybe you could adjust or not. No? The, huh? Try? I, 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 I would like to, to, to try to adjust because you will see just the middle of the project and then it's not so good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you are right. Okay. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> It's the first time that a technician could do it something in the right time. It's a great, great guy, I mean. <laughs> so. <laughs> then the, the, next, the next idea that I would like to present, and you have to think in that ideas uh, after, after uh, when I show you the projects, um, is the idea of ekphrasis. Ekphrasis is a, it's an, it's, there is some exercise that, that the architect do it and the painters and others do it. Ekphrasis means to, when you have a text that describes uh, some, some building that it doesn't exist, never, or maybe it was disappeared and you have just a description in a text. In a text. Um, sometimes some guys coming to think about this, this building and coming to think how they look like, you know, how they could be, good, could be built and, or how they could, because they want to crea create an image, a visual image or 3D image, you know, and that is exercise, really, it's really beautiful because you must um, think about um, what is the element, the structural elements, elements, I mean, say the supported, but not the supported, like uh, what is the physical support, the supported of the images. And then it's, for example, that's happening in this image of uh, Massimo Scolari. It's, I think it's uh, from the 80s, end of the 80s. Um, this is a, the, 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 um, the idea of uh, the arc of uh, the Noé arc. Um, and that was uh, that was part of an of a, um, exhibition of, of part of the model of this building that was building by, by one by one, uh, or maybe you could see in the Bruegel, the old uh, this this uh, Babel Tower. That it's it's uh, when you see this image, you see. Um, may may I? No, it's okay. I will try. Uh -huh. If you see this image, you see the tower, you know, you see the, it's, I see the, the uh, Noé arc. When I saw the, the, the Massimo Scolari um, arc, I said, this is the arc. I don't have another images of the arc. I think that is, that is, that, that, that is the impression. Because an image or a building or a construction is a moment of conviction. It's something that, you have to be convinced yourself, but it's an image of conviction and that depends on the atmosphere, the light, the forms, the shapes, anyone, but it's a moment of conviction. That is more important than, than everything. If you feel that conviction inside of the building, you are right. You are in the, in the big, you see the tower of bubble, the bubble tower, and then I feel that conviction in these images. 
or maybe in the constant uh, New Babylon, in relation with the others, uh, New Babylon images, that this guy go ahead with the description of the city for 20 years of his life, from 1966 to, to 1972, something like this. And still they are just producing a conviction about the images, about his new Babylon city. And then the project that, that I will show you um, is coming from 2010. Um, and the first and the first project is the boy hidden in a fish. It's it's about a, a, a history. In 2010, I was really I, I'm really you know in that moment that you are a little bit not so happy and you must do it something. And then I say okay, let's go to try. To, to do something and appear some, some lithograph by David Hockney about the Brothers Grimm uh, histories. Um, and the, this, this, this lithograph are really be beautiful because coming from an from exhibition of Dave, by David Hockney in 19, 1969, um, David Hockney in that exhibition proved a lot of techniques about lithograph, proved a lot of uh, techniques about how to do it. And then the, the lithograph came in really, really expressive and beautiful and calm. And, and, and the thing that, that um, the, the, the object of, of David Hockney is to put in, in images the histories by the brother Grimm's. They are illustrations. Um, this, there is a, a special, Lithograph, uh, two samples for me. They are really important. They are they are in connection with um, with a history. The name is uh, in Italian is Capretto Marino. I, I don't know how in English, how to say it in English, but it's a Capretto Marino. And Capretto and this history by the brother Grimm's have three 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 beautiful lithographs. This this and this. I will. I will, I will tell you what mean the history. The history is the princess, a, a no so beautiful princess if you could see, uh, but the princess is in, in, the, in the top of a tower, you know? And in this tower have 12 windows. Each window is more transparent of the other windows then. And uh, this prin princess doesn't want to get married. He, she wants the king for herself, you know? And she doesn't want to get married and then, uh, the, he make a challenge to the, she make a challenge to the, to the boys of the village and said, if someone get the tower, could get married from, could get married with me. And then all the guys get, want to be the king of the king, you know, and then go ahead, go ahead, and everybody's lost. And, 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 and that's so funny because there is one guy, really handsome, and then uh, to this guy, she gave, gave three opportunities, not just one, okay, because he's handsome. And then, and then, and then the, the, um, give the, this three opportunities. And the first, and then he must take some hidden, you know, he, he's, he's just too hidden to, but when he, he must take uh, hidden, he must to take a refuge to because he he doesn't want to be um, viewed by the viewed by the the, um, the princess. And he he chose a fish. This is the lithograph, the boy hidden in a fish. And then if you see the lithograph, it's uh, the the boy. You could see the calm of the boy. You could see the 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 small line that. Hogni have to be translucent the, the skin, but at the same time, you have to feel it's a refuge. He's in really calm, but inside of a fish, it's something really unstable, you know? But th this is the first, the first hidden, he lost it. He was viewed by the, king, by the princess and for one of these window. The, the second one was this egg. Uh, again, you have this, this skin, the, the people could, could see around it. I could see through the skin because the hogni present in that way, but you see the, the egg is is is, is self-supporting, and there are some unstable in in that too. Um, when Sejima asked Marcela Correa, the sculptor, with me to do something for the Biennale in 2010, 
we choose the boy hidden in a fish to do something. You know, we, we choose that because produced after the earthquake in Chile was really, really strong. And we, 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 we think we have to, to be inside of ourselves, mean to, to, to try not to, to reconstruct everything in, in an emergency, but to try to understand what's mean to be in a stable place, but uh, with a really, what, but in where we need a real refuge. And we, we made this piece, and we made this piece. That is the plan we, that we sent to Sejima, but you know, between architects, you, know, you don't need too much words. You just need some drawings and no more than this, but this was the drawing that we sent. Uh, it's a solid granite that we make a hole, uh, a hole inside, and after that we put a cedar good. Cedar good give you the calm because we want to put this, 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 this piece in the middle of the corderia, in the traffic of the people, and we want to, some people, maybe homeless, maybe someone who is just really tired to get a uh, rest there, or to get a uh, sleep or, or dream, or et cetera. And we made this, we put this, um, with uh, this, um, this small box of cedar inside. And the cedar give a perfume that is really important for us because the architecture is about density, it's about perfume, it's about, um, it's about texture, etc. And uh, that was the skis that we sent to Sejima and Nishizawa. But they are so smart and then we don't have to pick too much with them. The, you know, this is the plan, the drawing that we do for the workers. If you do something really specific for the workers, you could not work with them. In Chile, there's a lot of self-construction, and then if you want to work, you have to find the instrument, how to work. And this, these are the plans. You know, it's really easy. This is the plastic. And this is the model, the final model that you could find in the, in the, in the exhibition too. This is the, in the granite, and this is the, press of, the process of building. That's, that is really funny on, at Venice with the rock from the Andes. It's a really funny way to... We want to put something... In this fair, always... always uh, there's something about fake there. It's really uh, because, because the weight, because it's difficult to have a really good... Uh, way to do it. Um, it's something about fake, and we want to, because we have these columns around the, the, the granite, and we said we have to be one by one with the columns. We are not could be lightness with, with, them, with them. We are have to be inside of them, and we have to be in the same weight. The weight and the density coming from the sculpture, more, sometimes more than the architecture. And this is the boy hidden a fish. A woman who was fascinated, and uh, and this is a uh, um, this is uh, um, a video that we need some some sound. It's a video about the relation with uh, the boy hidden in a fish and the the next project that they will show.
this this was uh, our presentation. It's, could you? Yeah. This was our presentation that the Binalia, but but um, it's about the tower of the princess. It's about the boy hidden in a fish, and uh, um, but because at the same time, uh, uh, Gallery Ma in Tokyo asked me to do a, an exhibition with other people all around the world, um, and. Uh, were in five, I remember, and they asked me uh, a real object of uh, of a project and uh, uh, an object of uh, of of something that I I would like to to produce or maybe an object. They say just an object, and um, for and at that time I I feel that I will never build a, a tower. You know, that's what and I I I feel that I will never could do it. You know, because nobody come to me and say me, okay, do you want to do a tower, you know? It will be really difficult, you know? And then I say, let's go to do a tower, um, and, and, and a tower we call fragile, and this, this will be the, 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 the we made, we put the, the tower in the middle of uh, Tokyo, and, um, and, and, and this tower, it's a homage to Constant, the the, 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 the the architecture is a glass tower. It's part of the, it's just cop tower that you could see in, on the exhibition too. Um, this is the first model because this first model was destroyed by the Japanese when they come, when they sent back and we made the second one that uh, you could have the second stage of, in I hope this return back in a good way to Chile. <laughs> we don't have third stage, you know, and then, but, this is the this is the the tower. The tower is a ten, ten security uh, structure. Uh, the, the 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 cap work by compression and the and the, the other the, the 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 cables by 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 tension. And it's really simple, and we use some details that the people use in the in the in the countryside in my country to get to get tension of the of the of the of the, of the steel. And, and this is just, again, it's something that we would like to see and we, we do for this exhibition in Tokyo. I never, well, four years later when it came the, the contest for, for a tower of telecommunication in Santiago de Chile, I said it was in an international contest, I said let's go to participate because we have we have, you know, the, 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 the plastic, you know, we, we have the model. And then it's, it's, it, we, we try to do, to do this contest the best of possible. We made the, the places here. This is Santiago, really flat plate, you know. It, we, we have this tower must be have more or less 158 meters higher. And, uh, and, and the, 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 the hill is about 300 meters. And then you have, 500 meters over the city. That is really impressive. Um, that is terrible for an architect. I mean, the architect always wants to put the sign of, uh, I am here, no? And that was uh, part of my issue to say, I, I will not be, be there. I will, I will maintain the hill like a hill and not to put uh, a, a big or, or a masterpiece there, just to put, to put some a ghost, a phantasmata there, a, a, a ghost of a, of, a, of a tower. And then we use the, the more sensitive structure for, to do this kind of thing is the ten security by Mr. Fuller. We love the, 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 the sensation of happiness of this picture. Um, the same time the Rochenko structure that you could find in Butemas or the constant tower that you could see in the middle of, the, of his beautiful portrait. And um, at the same time, this that you could visit in, in London, that is really be beautiful, the Ivory of, uh, Ivory of um, Cedric Price. That's a beautiful structure, the most beautiful in London that I, I could see. Then we use the, the more simple tensegrity model, this model. Um, it's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's really beautiful because it's, it's the most sim simple one. But I feel that the problem of tensegrity always is you could use it, but you feel the engineering is on behind you. It's a, there's something really exactly, really something that I kept feeling a little bit cold. I could not explain really good, but I, I feel a, a little bit cold. And then, and then we, we want to, 
to give more insta instability and more fragile sensation of this structure, to have a ghost more uh, fragile at the same time, and uh, uh, for, uh, to have a, uh, an instructor on, on the top of the hill really transparent, translucent, stability, and fragile. And we, we, we made a software. I did not because I'm not, I could not do it, but a, a really good engineering assistant of mine made a software to build this because you could not, uh, you could not draw by hand or you could not draw, draw in, in two dimensions. You need to, to produce your, your self software because it doesn't exist. And we, we produce this software. We change two things to give more instability. The first is the rotation between the, 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 between the, the sticks, and the second one is the longer of the sticks. With these two movements, you could have a really uh, huge standard of movements uh, around it. You could, be a, uh, you could have a really um, big, uh, um, a really huge uh, quantity of movements around it. And then we create, this is our first plastic, it's terrible, but and this is the plastic that you could find in, 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 in the gallery. And this is the final, the final, the final uh, model. The model is, it's, it's, it have these movements. We, we move all the models all around. We put two flats here and here because we need to get the, 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 these cables to the earth. But we put these rings to have a more, uh, you know, how uh, dress it around it, and in these rings, we put all the antennas and every, the furniture that we, the, we have to put in, uh, to, to have a tower of telecommunications. And then with these movements and this, with these rings, we, 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 the, we, we just get far away the, the sensation of, of engineering, you know? And these are some details. These, has, these are the relation with the hill. We won this contest. We, we won this contest one year ago with Gabriela Medrano and Ricardo Serpo. We pre-calculate the, the structure because we don't know how they are gonna uh, be the effort, and it was really good. And these are the plants which is coming from the new software. Some views. We use blueprint because we have to remember back Mr. Fuller and that kind of. History and this is the image, you know. This is the, the, the our tower in the middle of Santiago. This is a common light on winter, a little bit dark, a little bit, and then should be should be like this. And this is by night. Um, we proposed some lights in the night. This is the more acceptable. The other was horrible, but this is a little bit, I think it's okay. And, uh, and this will be on night, will be, it's like a marionette, you know, that this look like, it's, I, I really happy. And then for the contest, we, we did this video. This video is, um, is from the view of the helicopter view from the Cedric Price. Uh, view that Cedric Price present the, the, the fan palace from his view. And we repeated the same scheme and we made this video to present the, the, the tower for the contest. Then every, everything is going, is going on in the same way. We, we use the graphic, we use the, uh, the reference, we, we to try to, 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 to have a new history, a, a round history. Um, this is the second, the second history that maybe you know. It's a, the John Selfish, uh, the John Selfish history uh, by Oscar Wilde. It's, um, but it's, I, you know, uh, the history. The history is really simple. The meaning. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, the the John is coming to his home, and uh, when he arrived, he found uh, the the his his castle uh, full of. Of, of boys, he just uh, he just said, "I want to be alone. Go go away." And um, for that, the winter is coming, and the nature destroy the the castle, etc. And then this became a, a, this model became a, a, the first 
stage that I think, what is the relation that we have to have between the sensation of ruination of the nature and the sensation to have a courtyard that could be in, in could be in relation with a with a interior space without without being conflict and and obviously the torus the torus uh, is the is the shape that we choose and we call this the castle for the John fields fish and we made about this this house we made the house for the point of the of the right angle for for that uh, that is the 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 project that I will show you right now. The, 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 the castle for the John, John Solfich is a, is a refuge. It's a real refuge, the most beautiful refuge that I know. And, and our house, in, in the house for the point of the right angle, must be a, a, a refuge too. And then I, we use just these uh, images from the, uh, the point for the right angle of the, of the Le Corbusier, and we use this image because I like too much the sensation of cave that give, uh, give to, this, to the space this hand. Because if you read the, the real sensation, you have your hands, they have the hands here, in your, in your, here on, on your heads. And then the, you have the, 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 the food and the woman, but he's lying. The, 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 the drawing is, the, the draw is, is lying and he has his needs and, 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 and this sensation of cave. And then we made a refuge. Um, and the important thing is the people who live there or who want to live there, it doesn't care about the contest because the contest, they know the contest. They don't, they don't have to see the contest be, because they are not tourists. They, are, they know where, where the dog is, where the, the forest is, where the, the river came. They, they could read the, the sounds around them and they need a, a refuge inside. And then the, so, uh, the object could be up here really opaque, but at the end it's really transparent for, for the inhabitants, for, for the people who live there. And then it, this is a contradiction, but it's, it's real. And then I could present the, the, the object like this, but in the reality it's, it's something like this. These are the models, two models by hand. It's a really simple geometry. It's just a, a vault that we cut it in a, in a strange way, not more than this. And this is one of the plastic, the first plastic that we do. Again, here you could see the boy hidden in a fish and other, other things. And this is the plastic that, that you could see on the, on the gallery. The plan that we never use it, just for made the, the, the draw on the, on, the, on, the, on the side. And this is, was the plan that we construct, where, where, that we use for co, co build the house. The side before the house and part of the construction. These two guys never built in concrete. These two guys built the house. And I was there for every week. Um, when well, there's no problem about about the geometry of the plants, I do it. But when they arrive with uh, these big cones, you know, they don't know how to do it. And then my assistant, a Japanese assistant, do it a, a, a drawing by one by one, and we put it on the on the floor, and we copy and we copy the the, the just the the form the form inside, and we made the frame. And that's it. I mean, no, no more. And it became this kind of building that is like a, a, looks like a, I don't know in, in the, the beginning of the last cycle, like a Butema's school of uh, in Russia. It's beautiful buildings. Um, the, the just the last idea when when we made the calculation that is really important. We made the calculation with the engineering. We have some some problems in on the angles, and there are, and, and we just finished the, the the design. And the the engineer said me, okay, you must do it two things. You could you could do more wide the the roof. You know the concrete roof right now is 14 centimeters. You could do it more, more wide, uh, uh, 20 centimeters, or or maybe you could change the form of the of the vault. Um, I was really tired about this project and said, no, no, uh, let's go to put a column because when, when, when someone or, or something is fall down in Chile, uh, you just put the column and it's okay. You, you, hand, you put, it's okay. And then we put a column uh, and it, that's it. And it was really beautiful because up here a column and look like really, you know, 
it's uh, that you we have from the beginning, but it's not. It's just a, a, a circumstance of the of the of the building. But we want to put this piece of uh, Marcela Correa inside of uh, of my ha of our house, and then we said, and this this piece was in uh, around at this column in the gallery when it was exposed, and then there was more, many coincidences. And then we said, okay, let's go to to put the columns and be, and put the 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 this beautiful wood uh, sculpture in, around them. And we put the columns there. Looks good. It's not bad. But we use the same the same things in other projects. You know, we 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 in the in this last project that I did, uh, I I just put a Vince longer pool, more or less uh, 140 meters, and 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 the Vince is it's gonna fly around. But I when when the Vince is going to fall down because the pendants. To, to one to one side, I put the support, and when it's going down to the other side, I put the other support. It's something that always do it like this to have the to have the 140 140 thousand 140 meters longer, you know. And the support uh, in between are uh, more or less 28 meters or 30 meters with uh, normal concrete. And this is for an event. Um, event concert, event hall that we will start to build next month, I hope. And these are these are the the the, um, the beans, the geometry of the bin. They have three axes for the engineers. They have three axes on 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 the top that we have, and these are how we we are gonna build. But the end, this is some images. The roof is a real simple roof of of wood. Not really, and this, these are the space inside. Again, the sensation of movement, instability, fragile, etc. This space is to get married, you know, it's so strange. I mean, <laughs> to get married there. But <laughs> it's a, but this is the house again. Return back to the house. This is the, the construction. I want to show you the, this fast. And this is finished. Um, we want to paint maybe these cones in another way, but it's some of the workers said it looked like a football player t-shirt and said, let's go to do prove to do in another way. And then we just on black the concrete and everything. Around this house, we made this swimming pool. It's a tank, and we used the, our first house that we we, we did uh, we built. And th this is a f our first house that, that I did that the, I we destroyed and used some of part of the of the wall there uh, just for, for the swimming pool. And we made we did this. Garden of a stone, we we call field of field of leaves. We we bring this stone uh, from a quarry 500 k uh, meters from here. It's the, and the stone is just to give the sensation of time for the place. This is the refuge. And this, again, in front of this house, there are this house, it's a transparent house, it's a studio for our daughter, really transparent, really, again, the, the idea of contemporary, um, primitive, opaque, transparent, uh, panoptical, or, 
or refuge. It's uh, always in the same in the same place, trying to to take a a, a conversation, a, a dialogue. I will not explain this. But, and the last building that we we do in the place, it's more or less 500 meters from there. It's this a small um, studio for Marcella. It's a beautiful studio. It's a, because the studio for this kind of a sculpture, you don't need a, a real studio. You need just a, a corral where you have an, a really useful area, and then you have you need a really crane, a, a beam for the a crane uh, to to have your in your in, to to. A crane for move the the weight, you know, of the of the of the sculptures, and then and, and just a tent, a tent because it's a, it's something for to protect you for the in, in on on summer for the shadow. Um, the same do it the 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 arrieros. I don't know how to say the the horseman in the cordillera do it the same things. They made a coral by the stone and they put some tents. Or they put some beams of wood and nothing else. And sometimes these coral are more longer because they have to be, they have to need inside the, the, the horses. And this is the, 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 We did the same strategy. I will not explain this project for a winery. It's, this project have 300 meters longer, you know, and we, we did the same st strategy. You have to read in that way. We put, uh, uh, we put in underground the winery, the, this winery, this building, and just put two walls really longer, and we just, uh, just, just do it three, move, two mo three movements, a lagoon, a really flat lagoon where the 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 it's not flat it's a little with a pendants of two two degrees where the 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 waters fall down and then a unique space under under a, a, a roof a, a tent roof a fabric roof to have a real natural light and uh, and uh, and the next and the next part is a small pavilion the important thing of this of this of this building and that they don't need climate, they just don't use climate or uh, air condition or uh, nothing. It's just with the, with, the, with, the, with the solution. And this is the, the, it's the same of, it's not the same, but it's, it's the same strategy of the, of the, of the, the sculptural studio. Dan Serpentine. I will be fast and think. I mean, I will show you the process of Serpentine because uh, normally everybody think uh, you are right there, you have your project, and they say, okay, let's go to do it. It's not in that way. It's uh, more difficult. And then you might think you have three months for designing and you have three months for building it. And that's just a lot of pressure. Most for me because I could not do it really fast. I'm not really, really fast architect. And then I, I, I must do it slowly. And what's a problem for the serpentine curators because it's, it's not really easy to have this pressure around us. And then, the, but the serpentine is a really special uh, uh, commission. Not just for the for the media or for the background. It's not just for that. It's because uh, the real question of the of the Serpentine Gallery com Commission for the Pavilion is to have a relation with the curators. The curators shall uh, choose you after I could say after Su Fujimoto choose you because they want to talk about architecture architecture by you by your work. And then there is not a normal client. It's a client who is in charge of a gallery of contemporary art. And then it's something that it's real. It's a real dialogue in the in the state of art. You know, it's something that you you must understand. And normally you understand at the end of the process. That is the the, the key. But but it's, the thing is that in in that way. And then um, I would like to to. I always want to like to do a folie in the middle of the park because a folie it's a it's a space of strangeness. Um, it's a 
place where you have three ideas, the idea of strangeness, because a folie have to be in strangeness, um, the idea of primitive, and the idea of renation. These three ideas, but this idea, I don't want to be outside of the tradition. I want to be inside of the romantic tradition of folie, not just to say I will do something strange. I, will do, I, will, I want to do something in the real romantic tradition of folie. And then Cedric Price have many, uh, many ideas of the folie, but one of the ideas have said the architect have to, be, have to have humor, and at the same time, you don't have to understand what is false and what is true. And that is really complex for the architect because to say something is false is, is a little bit, you know, or fake. It's a little bit, you know, it's not so good. And, and I want to do this. And then when you are inside of this pavilion, you, you don't know too much about how this building and, and how is, how, how was a real, how is the structure, how is not, or how is fake, or, or, or how is true. And, uh, but the tradition talk about the, these spaces of strangeness. The spaces of strangeness, they put on the middle of the park to structurate the park, you know, and in the romanticism. And they, they put a uh, temple of Athena, the Japanese, the Japanese uh, pavilion, the Greek pavilion, the Chinese pavilion, and this, uh, or, or a cave, for example. And this, this, uh, this, um, these pavilions have to, the, the, the idea of give you the chance and at that time to travel, to travel without travel. And that is really beautiful to give you a new images, a new conviction inside of this park. And, to give the sensation of a structure, the, 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 the promenade around them. And the other idea really important is the idea of renation, the idea that you have to cut at something because the, 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 because you, if you have a room, you have a, a, a lot of age in your hand, but the room is false. It's like in this, in this case, I could show you the, the, the images of a prison of Piranesi, that, that you, you don't know what is interior, what is exterior, what, it, what, what they been are there in the middle of the clouds, etc. There is an interaction between, between the exterior and the interior space. And that is really uh, beautiful. And, and it is a formal instrument to do a folly, a romantic folly. And then I produced some of this idea in the restaurant Mestizo years ago, and, and it's, this restaurant is, in, is on the back of the of a, of a, of a park, and I said, let's go to put uh, some stone like support, the real support of the building. Then you have a terrace with a, with this ceiling, but you have inside this these rocks that you don't know if these rocks are inside of the park or, or part of the of the building. And uh, this is part of the process of the of the serpentine. It's uh, the shapes that I use it. There are two, two schemes, but this is really stupid. I mean. And again, I will show you the four projects that, that, that I do, that I did. I did five, but the, the beginning is not, it's, it's not really relevant. And then the first was about this, appear about this, this um, model, but appear just about the sensation of the, of the, of the masking tape. The masking tape give us to the curators or to me, the key to go ahead. I, we want to put the idea that we want to, we want to do it something with the hands. Why? Because it's primitive, and in another scale could be really strangeness, and for the England people, for the people who live in London, something rough and something uh, rough and something primitive and something made by hand is really strange because they are really, really habituate, um, really, um, really always see um, uh, a big thickness in the, of the world with many layers and the last layer will give you the information of, uh, of, of something. And then if I could put uh, a laminate of 12 uh, millimeter of, of fiberglass in a rough way, could be really, really beautiful beautiful in, in a primitive way. Um, at the same time, you have, uh, they use a lot the fiberglass, but they use in, a, in like, a, like for the boats in, in that way. And then we, we use the fiberglass like a masking tape. We have this sensation of strangeness. And then these are the, the models, the, 
the drawings that we, we, I send you. I, I travel 10 times in three months to London, in four months to London. And this is the, the one of the first model. It's like a circus, but here are the, the proof that we made with the Burda magazine in, uh, and with the fiberglass uh, with paper in, in Chile. The second project is about shape. No, no more than shape. We changed the shape, but we're still there, you know, trying to, to find something to, to do with, with, with these materials. And the third one was this torus. Um, it's a torus, it's a torus, a donuts, you know, but it's, it's, a, it's a, in, a, in this way. You have a, 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 a hole on the top, a hole on the, on the, on the bottom. And it's the relation between the, the sky and the, and, the, and the landscape. We made, again, the same. This is our model. This is some of the, our reference that is in the British Museum. This appear here, the last project was the, the, the young castle that we began to work with this shape uh, at the end of the process. And we made a lot of, a lot of proof, but at the end we just arrived to the same place from the beginning. We made some models with these Indian stone that we present to, to the curators, and at the end, we are there. Geometry is so simple, it's symmetrical. It's, it's, uh, these are the plans that we present to the local govern government. We never use this plan because everything was working in 3D model. This plan is just, it's just for the local government to accept the proposal. Axonometry. And these are, these are again, um, these are the pieces that I take out. Um, these are the pieces of renation. Um, I don't, ha I, don't, I don't have too much time, and I'm really bad to do forms some shapes. And then said, OK, let's go to have some uh, holes inside to give the landscape get inside. And, uh, and this hole coming from a, a magazine that you maybe you, you know. It's a magazine called Burda. It's, uh, the Burda have a really a lot of shapes that you could choose. It had really beautiful ones. And then we, sh we choose some of these shapes and we apply to the, to the just apply to the, to the surface. And that is, that's it. And we need that holes, not just for to, to give some expression to the volume. We need the, the, this to produce the sensation of renation, to produce the relation with the landscape, and at the same time to to keep out to to keep on the budget because the fiberglass costs the 80 percent of the of the budget and then you must take out fiberglass to be uh, to be on the budget and then we we just do it this one then this is the quarry that we and this is the, are the materials the draw and that is so beautiful because here you could see the 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 people do it like a we made the, the model by, by, by one by one. It's a big, it's a big model. It's like a, to do a model in, 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 in another way, you know? It's, a, it's, to do, it's just to do on the real size, and it's by hand, really by hand. It's, it's really, a, it looks, I mean, the, the, the technique is really high tech, but at the end, it's a handcraft work. These are the pieces that we mounted on the site later. And this is the object that I think you know. 
the columns are the same strategy of the column of the, uh, of the house of the right angle. It's just to keep the structure and the thickness of the, of the skin just in 12 millimeters, no more than this. Because the important thing is the translucent and the sensation of a, an egg, of a, of a shell is sensation. And that is really imp was really important for me, more than the shape. The shape is something that I could, I could repair, I could do it better. But, but the sensation of the materiality and the ambience inside, it's, it's more important. And I work a lot with these translucent ideas in, in other projects that I will, could show you. And this is the, this is the site where is the pavilion right now. The, the garden that you could see is a, is a garden of Pete Udolf. It's a really beautiful garden that you could see, you could see the, the pavilion two hours from London right now. You could visit if you, you don't before. And this is the plastic that you could see. Oh, here, really fast, we made a, a, an exhibition in Japan. About, it's about the, the skin, about the, the light, about the atmosphere. We made this, this exhibition that we call the wardrobe and the mattress, um, because these two elements are the, 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 the most, uh, they are in between of a scale between an object, domestic object, and, the, and, a, and a, an architecture. It's something in between because they have a human, human scale. And we did this, this uh, wardrobe with the mattress in, uh, on the top. And, and the beautiful thing, the, the, the wardrobe have to be really solid and, uh, from outside because he keep inside his dream, our dream, our secrets, our robe, and our, our, he keep inside our life sometimes. And he have to be really solid. But, and, and, but at the, at, and, and it's a complex volume, it's a, it's a small construction that we, we did and we put some foundation that is, uh, this foundation is coming from a pianoforte insulation from uh, the, uh, that normally you could use for the pianoforte uh, fit, I don't know how to say, to insulation, the pianoforte. And, but the beautiful thing is that when you open the door of the wardrobe, you are inside of a new movement of the lights. And the light is coming in, uh, it's, it's coming in through a skin who has one, um, one and a half millimeters. It's just nothing. And then it's really, and, and, the, and the light is coming in, and you have this ambience inside. And, and really red, really primitive, and really like, a, like an inside of, a, of, a, of, a, of an animal, animal or something really, really, we could, we could talk about the boy hidden in a, in a wardrobe, you know, here. This, it's the same project, it's another project about the light. I will, we repair the second floor of this project. We just cleaning, it's an it's a old building, you know. We, we just cleaning, we do not so, have so much budget for the, sec, for the second floor, is that, we just cleaning the floor. You have to imagine this same room with the wall was brown, the windows are closed, and the floor was brown too. And then you have a cave in the second floor of the building. And that is really strange. And then we said, OK, with the light, we are going to just structure the, 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 the building. And just we, we repair the windows. We open to the city. And we change the light inside, etc. We repair this, this, uh, this courtyard. And we put a roof inside. It's an ETFE room, uh, inflated, inflated uh, roof, because we don't want to put some um, a structure on the top, and we repair this other, this other patio, the south one, just open to the sky to receive the the, the weathering. And the most important movement was this this um, this room on on the bottom of this of this building. We we made a room of 40 meters by by uh, eight meters higher from of uh, 11 meters of wide. Um, we used a darkness more than normally you, you, you could see, you, you want, normally, normally the people use the, the, the light for the, for the exhibition. We use, we want to do a cave, a sensation of un, underground, 
and to be in a cave, but not to be an oppressive place. For these have this big, big uh, higher, and, and then the light inside is a, it's not light, it's a darkness that you go in and you feel really, you know, calm. You have to have some time to start to see really good the pieces because your eyes are, are habituated uh, just with the, with the light of the, of the patios. And then we made this, this, this object, the object uh, looked like floating on the space and this uh, showcase was made and the museography was made that Geoff picked up from the British Museum in London. And we made this, this kind of things. It's really stupid plan, you know. It's uh, it's just two two skylight and this big uh, big uh, room, but the light, the darkness is is the is the common place here. And this is another project that uh, that it, it began to build uh, two months ago. It's uh, it's again it's about the hidden. We we use we made a, a structure like this. Uh, with some rooms, it's a theater in the in the south of Chile, and we cover this this uh, building with a with a permanent membrane. But it's not a really sophisticated facade. It's just a, 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 a skin of membrane, just one layer of membrane. Because and we put in this uh, in these spaces in between the volumes of the of the. Um, of the of the rooms, the halls, we put uh, some spaces that you you have to go, uh, you have to you have a promenade, and you have to 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 pass. But the important things that I will not show you, I will show you in five years, I think, because it will be built. In the the plan is really stupid. Again, symmetrical, not really fast, and the image is, is like this, and this, and this. And this, the surface are coconuts, uh, wood, and uh, and wood and concrete. This is the plastic. It's not here. It's not the, here for the exhibition because they start to build right now and they want to show you to the to the community and then we could not. And this is the first show um, sample they made for me to review how how it will be built. And it's okay. So, and this is the this is a, I, I would like to show you this because I, I'm really happy about it because you have to understand this big volume in front of this river. This the scale of the volume is about the river more and about the the the, the city more than uh, than other things and and it's in relation with this monument that nobody care about. It's um, and this is the last project that I will I will show you. In the same in the same time that I I'm I'm working no first that I'm working in a theater the theater of regional B O B O the 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 the, the project that I showed before it uh, was a contest that we won in 2011 and uh, and this will will come from 2010 this project and it's a um, it's a um, you know it's a um, it's not a theater, it's a space for performance, for happenings, for dance, for experimental dance. For, it's, a, it's a real space for something that it, it doesn't exist in Santiago. It's so strange. And when the owner come to me, he's, he has this, kind of, this part of the plot. I mean, the, the, I have to say the plot, before of we cleaning like this, it was, it was like this, because of fire, and because the earthquake, you know, and we we to do this my project, we have to wait for the local government bureaucracy for more than one year, and in between of this year, and you have to remind the the facade. But in between of this year was the earthquake, and and the facade was fall down too, and then we have to. But we said, okay, let's go to maintain this because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, rain. Re review the facade is something that uh, I hated to, to compose some, something and say we are going to copy the facade because everybody's going to be happy and then it's good for everybody, you know. And then, and then the, the owner want to buy, build just this. And I said, um, you, must, you must buy this. He bought this. 
and he bought this later, and he bought this, okay? And then the whole of the, of, of the construction uh, was, was really complex at the end of the, of the project. And this is the stage of, uh, it's, it's, this is so beautiful because it's a domestic place that was houses, but if you see, if you, if you are here, you could, you could see this space like a coliseo. It's, uh, it's so, when you have the, the two, the two levels. It's so beautiful because the, 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 the space of the street, when the windows are open, the street is coming inside of the space. You will see. That was uh, the first sketches. And this is the plan. The plan, we just say to the owner, you must, you must do it really clean, all of this. This is, whole, this is just the hole and this is the space. Have a really conventional scene, and, and, but you could use all of this really clean. And the bathroom are there, but in the second floor, in the first floor for you, and here's the stairs. And then you, there's a promenade that you, you enter here, do it like this, go ahead, and go down to the steps. And, and then you go up. On these stairs, you go. You have to do this and go up to the terrace. This is the terrace. Then, this is the this is the the, the geometry and the isometric. We put inside of this facade a new a new elements. Uh, and then, this is the end of of my conviction that you have a. Classical facade, you must think this facade was, was made in 1940, in the middle of modernism. You have this classical facade, I mean, at that time was a mask, was a real mask for, to sell to people something, some, something old, but it's not. And, the, and, and, and you have the facade, and you have an interior is a, in the middle of the darkness, and you have a terrace with a circus. And then you have this, Three elements that if, if someone describe you, they don't ha they could not be um, ensemblage. To, uh, they could not be put together easily. But on the project, you could read uh, this uh, image, uh, a dialectic image, that there is something of a strangeness. And, but at the same time, you have um, a new sense. Uh, symbol, a, a new space, but at the same time a new uh, signal and a new way to understand the space. And, uh, and this domestic space is coming up via public space, and that, that is really important. And then this is the plastic that you, in the model that you could see. The important things about the circus is two things. First, you could, not, you could not build on the roof because it's not permit. And then we said, we need it, the roof, and then the circus is something ephemeral. Let's go to buy a circus, a popular circus in Chile that I bought in the coast of Chile that is cost more or less $6,000. It's nothing. And, then, and you have to replace each two or three years. You know, that, that's it. And, uh, and the other things it was really important, for that we have a, a really symbolical space, you know? We have an elemental uh, and primitive space for performance on the top, and you have a, a really contemporary, maybe not so much, uh, contemporary room on the back, with different colors, with different, with different way to understand the same problem, the same function, in the same place. And that is, that is for me, was important. At the end, the, 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 the building is, is like this. We repair everything, you know, we, we re remade everything there.
we get five years to build the building and they got in seven hours to do the tent. <laughs> The beautiful, the last things that I, 15 years ago, I take the picture on the road. The, the name of this uh, building they call in Chile Animita. Animita is a, is a small church to remind the people who dead on the road. It's, they are abandoned on the road and sometimes the people, the relatives go there and put some, 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 some fire and put some remembers there. And it's, I, it's, it's really beautiful, this image in the middle of the road, abandoned, and I put the, the same circles in the middle of the city, abandoned in, 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 the, in, the, in the top of the roof. It's, it's, for me, it's more or less a, it's a relation after 15 years. It's something that is good. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much, Smiljan. This lecture was a kind of a dream-like uh, experience, very special. Tell me one, one thing, maybe that's, that's my, my impression, that always you are looking for a certain uh, miracle to happen in, in your work, some kind of uh, extraordinary emotional narrative to, to happen in, in there. Is it something that you are re really looking for that, or, you are, uh, or is it part of the um, culture of your society here? That's happening, you know, you could, not, you could not project that kind of things. That happens sometimes, sometimes not. I mean, sometimes it's, it's, really, it's really not, but that's happening sometimes. And, and when, you are, when you put together the, the, that kind of things, it's, sometimes it's really, you know, the contrast of the things and the way you understand it should be written that way. And, that, and that's good, but, but sometimes it's not. And that's, <laughs> that's it's sometimes not so a miracle good. happens. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.